Will John Huntsman Jr. make another push for governor? The idea being fueled by a social media post from his wife hinting at a potential last ditch effort. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson live in studio to explain. Brittany. Well, Glenn, supporters are strategizing, analyzing data on John Huntsman Jr.'s chances of winning the governor's race as a write-in candidate. Tonight, I asked a political expert if he stood a chance in the election as a write-in candidate. I was told at this rate, anything is possible. Will John Huntsman Jr. take another shot at governor as a write-in candidate? A big question in Utah politics right now. Morgan Lyon Cotty, associate director of the Hinckley Institute of Politics, provides insight. He's come out and said uh, he won't do it, but then we see these really cryptic uh, social media posts from members of his family or members of his team. So everybody's wondering what's going to happen. Huntsman's wife posted this picture on her social media page with the caption, Isabel trying to convince her bapa to do a write-in campaign for Utah governor. He told her he'd think about it. His daughter, Abby Huntsman, commented on the post with the hashtag all in Huntsman write in. We don't have that much time left before the election, so the clock is ticking. A write-in campaign is what happens when a candidate isn't chosen by one of the major parties or even by one of the third parties, and the filing deadline was missed. This is sort of the last shot to um, get your name in there. If Huntsman goes this route, people will need to physically write his name in on the ballot. And the rules can be really strict. You have to spell the name correctly as it was listed when uh, they filed to run. The associate director says running a statewide writing campaign is difficult, expensive, and can be grueling. But above and beyond, just looking voters in the eye and saying, you know, I know that I wasn't chosen to be my party's nominee, but I'm still the right person to lead this state and I need you to write my name down. And when I asked about Huntsman's chances of beating out Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox. The stars really have to align both for the positive elements of a campaign and the negative elements. Well, the deadline for Huntsman to declare whether or not he will do a writing campaign is August 31st. If Huntsman does move forward with a writing campaign, he technically wouldn't be the Republican nominee, but could still run on his background, history, and credentials of his Republican service. Emily Glenn, back to you.